Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. I've got a recipe video for you guys this week, and it's not any recipe video. We are doing the $1 challenge. This time, we'll be preparing lentil curry. The cost per serving ended up being 87 cents, and the most expensive ingredients are red lentils and basmati rice. I'm using red lentils here because the red yellowy color really brightens up the dish and I think it looks the most inviting compared to green lentils. I'm using one cup of dried lentils and three cups of cold water. We'll bring this to a boil and later let it simmer on the stove for a total of 20 minutes. Now while the lentils are cooking, Let's mince equal amount of ginger and garlic. I'm using four cloves of garlic and about a thumb sized piece of ginger. We will also be using a whole red onion, dicing it up into square pieces and that will set as the foundation of the sauce. Let's pour in about two tablespoons of olive oil into the pot and caramelize the red onion until they turn brown. And then you can put in the garlic and the ginger this way, the caramelizing process would not burn the ginger or the garlic. The onions should take at least 20 minutes to cook based on the level of heat you're using. My stove is set on medium low heat just because I don't want to have burnt pieces of onion in my curry. Once the ginger and garlic is in the pot, it will take another additional 5 to 10 minutes to bring out the flavors and to break down the structure. Don't forget to add a little bit of water into the pot because the ingredients will dry up and stick to the bottom of the pot. The little bit of water helps to bring everything together and form a paste. Once the water has been evaporated, we can add in all our spices. These spices will need to be heated in the pan for a brief 5 to 10 seconds to bring out the aroma. Just like always, you'll be able to find a list of ingredients in the description box below this video. We will pour in one can of puree tomatoes and this will cook with the lid on for an hour with the lowest heat setting. And once it's done, all we need to do is adding the cooked and drained lentils, give it a quick mix and it's ready to serve. I skipped over the cooking process for basmati rice, but if you don't know how to make rice on a stovetop yet, I've already made a video teaching you how to do so, make sure to check it out. This is it for this week's video, hope you guys enjoyed it. This dish was unbelievably cheap and delicious. Go make this at home and I'll see you guys in next week's video.